hi there today we are gonna see uh, how to configure any connect vpn using saml authentication on version 6.7 let's get into the session now In the demo today, we are going to see FTD2130 with the 6.7 uh, FTT OS and uh, FMC virtual with the same version of uh, web version 6.7. And for the authentication, we are going to use SAML using OctaCloud. Before we get started, we need to understand some of the background information about uh, when we configure uh, any connect kind of configuration on FTD, whether it could be FT directly configuring on FTD or FMC, there are some limitations when you use a SAML for authentication. Some of the bullet points that are already captured in the Cisco website. SAM when you are configuring the SAML, either ASA or FTD is supported only for authentication and not for the authorization and also when you configure SAML authentication attributes it will be available only in DAP evaluation and the and ASA supports SAML enabled tunnel group DAP policy however you cannot check the username attribute when you are using the SAML authentication why the SAML authentication uh, identity provider will mask the username information so before we get started this ml configuration we need to obtain some of the parameters uh, from the um, saml provider in the lab scenario we are using octa for a saml configuration so the one you see here is called the metadata is something you will get it from the uh, um, your uh, identity provider or saml provider they will be able to provide the information what we need to configure on the fmc which is like identity provider entity id sso url logout url identity provider certificate very key things and the key parameters that we need to configure on the FMC side. Now on the FMC console under remote access VPN policy wizard we need to configure the ma name and the available device which is going to be participate in configuring the AnyConnect VPN wizard. On the next page we will have to specify number of things like a triple a server and authentication uh, uh, profile under triple a configuration we have to choose the authentication method as saml and the authentication server uh, will have to configure the saml configuration over here uh, naming naming it as a saml server just like octa underscore saml and uh, as I said before, we need to get all the necessary parameters with regards to SAML configuration. Based on that, we'll have to put the information over here, like entity ID, logout URL, and then certificate. Over here, put the certificate that was obtained from saml provider copy that ca uh, certificate in a encrypted format and select enrollment type as a manual put that encrypted file or encrypted contracts over here and click yeah. save next is to configure the vpn ip pool for the specific uh, group policy that we are going to create so based on your company network 
uh, VPN pool, uh, you can go ahead and configure the, the range of VPN pool, yeah. what you needed to be assigned. And now assign the uh, created VPN pool space for your uh, group policy. Next step is to create the group policy. Just name the group policy whatever you want. And then um, create the description just for your uh, sake of understanding. If you have the banner, you can create. I'm just gonna pass it. Then you want to create a primary and a secondary DNS for your uh, uh, VPN connection to contact the DNS server. Um, you might want to create a primary as well as a secondary DNS over here. After you create a primary and secondary DNS, you might want to create a win server also based on your infrastructure setup over here i'm going to configure same dns server as my win server both the primary and secondary Next, we need to specify the list of networks which only want to pass through the tunnel. So here with I'm going to choose the standard access list policy and uh, I'm going to configure a specific network for example and uh, going to uh, ingest into the tunnel. So meaning uh, by default my app, uh, default route will be pointed to uh, my local internet circuit and uh, only the production traffic or my corporate traffic uh, Will, will pass through the tunnel. So this is called the split tunnel include configuration. So once you configure the uh, required uh, number of uh, subnets, whatever you wanted to pass through to the tunnel, you can just um, add those networks and uh, um, call out in the standard access policy for the. Next in the any connect section, we need to choose the profile that needs to be uh, uploaded into the uh, uh, FTD box. So when you say profile, a profile that consists of list of uh, parameters or uh, sequence of uh, items that uh, uh, user initiate uh, any connect VPN connection. So in my case, the XML file has been already created. Next in the SSL settings, uh, we we are going to keep SSL compression and the detailless method both are disabled. Uh, based on your infrastructure, if you wanted to enable either of one or both, you can go ahead and select it. In my case, I'm going to disable it as I do not require that. And the connection settings, I'm going to keep uh, um, most of the settings are uh, by default. I'm not going to change anything uh, specifically. Next under session settings, I'm going to allow a simultaneous login for as two, um, ideal timeout as 60 minutes, and then uh, maximum timeout session would be uh, 1200 minutes. On the next page, we need to add the AnyConnect file um, based on the version that you wanted to select for your infrastructure. Um, if you have a Windows or a Mac or both, based on that, you need to select the image file and uh, upload it into the uh, FMC wizard. It will make sure to push the policy when you deploy uh, the uh, configuration. Uh, it will also push the um, latest uh, uploaded image.
on the next page you want to allow uh, the network interface where the VPN traffic should incoming. Uh, in this case, for example, I'm selecting the inside interface, but usually it should be the outside interface where the traffic is actually coming from. So on the next control, uh, you'll have to choose the certificate, the device certificate which was assigned. Um, since I'm, I have passed through that step already, uh, I'm gonna choose the device certificate which is uh, uh, which is applicable for the infrastructure. Here in the final setup or final stage, you just need to fin click finish and uh, all the configuration will be saved locally on the FMC. You just need to uh, select deploy and uh, push the policy to the respective FPD. That's all. Thanks for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and please pass on your comments.